hello in this video I'm going to tell you something about our internet problem more often we didn't check any simple problems that can cause your internet not to work suppose when we connect to internet and we when we try to open our internet explorer it will show you you are not connected to a network this problem may be very simple you have to check you are connected to internet or not first thing is you have to check your ethernet cable the ethernet cable with rj45 connector sometimes will not work properly then you have to change with another cable and check again you can notice that if the cable is working the ethernet adapter that will blink the light inside it will start to blink when there is any activity it will blink the second thing that you have to check is if you are connecting with wireless you must turn on the wireless switch the switch may be find in your computer casing or you can find any switch in front of your computer on the body anywhere sometimes this is associated with keyboard also you can find any function keys from f1 to f12 the icon of wireless which can used to turn on and off the wireless device in some systems it is coming with a function 2 f2 or in some other system it may be different you check your keyboard and find the wireless switch and turn it on the third thing is you have to check your computer system date maybe your system date is wrong you can check here and verify that you are in correct year and correct month and correct date if there is any problem in your system date the internet may not work properly one another important thing that you can do if your internet is not working is reset your internet explorer for that you can go to control panel and network and internet internet options and advanced here you can find restore advanced settings and reset you can delete any personal settings that you made select that and reset it will clear any cookies any offline data and everything after that try internet explorer and your internet may be start to work network driver missing is one of the main reason for not working internet we can check how to identify there is any driver windows missing for that right click on the computer and click on properties you can see device manager there you can see in the network adapter here is all the network adapter that i have here in this system this is intel centrino advanced n6230 if there is no driver for this device it will just show ethernet controller with a yellow mark 
here and there is one another atheros 8r8151 this is the LAN port which is used for connecting internet through the cable and this Intel Sentinel addons this is my wireless network card for your system maybe it may be different different name and if you find any other yellow color mod marked ethernet controller you have to download and install the driver from the manufacturer's site if it is at dell you can go to dell.com drivers like that after installing the driver check internet is working or not if your internet is not connecting you have to check your ethernet adapter is enabled or disabled if you already have the drivers for the network cards but it is not connecting you have to check in the control panel network and internet network sharing center and change adapter settings you can see here all my network adapters are enabled if any of this is disabled you can see that is little fade in color and is written here disabled in this case my local area connection LAN connection is disabled if I connect my network cable to my computer internet will not come the same situation is about wireless also if I if it is like disabled my internet cannot be connected through the wireless so you have to check here it is enabled or disabled you can go to this location by right clicking this computer icon and open network sharing and change adapter settings then enable this one and and there is one more option to enable this one for that go to computer properties and device manager you can see this LAN Ethernet controller and my wireless controller is disabled there is a small icon and it is down you can right click here and enable or you can do it from here also right click and enable this is one important thing that you have to check in some computers we are using manual IP address so we have to check that also if your computer is not connecting to internet you have to check your computer IP address for that go to this open network sharing center change adapter settings <coughs> and IP address normally if you are connecting through the cable go to the local area connections with your network driver which network device you have this one Atheros I am using gigabyte ethernet right click there go to properties and you can see there is a internet protocol version for TCP IP 4 TCP IP version 4 select and click on properties this router my router is automatic assigned IP address is using if there is any DHCP IP address configured you have to use the IP address of the 
internet service provider manually this may be starting with 192.168 something like that you have to ask your network provider for this IP number if it is automatic you can select these two obtain IP address automatically and click OK sometimes if anybody tried to share your network this IP address will automatically change to 192.168.0.1 like that if you are not sharing internet you can select it as automatic you can obtain the IP address automatically but be careful if your network provider is giving any IP address manually you have to configure that IP address for proper working of internet if your internet is not working you have to check your proxy software if you have because this proxy server sometimes will not allow your computer to connect with the site for that you can go to control panel uninstall a program and check if there is any software like hotspot shield or any other proxy software you can try by uninstalling the proxy software or if you are really using this proxy software you can reinstall it and try again I prefer to not use proxy software because sometimes it will show problems for the regular use of internet if you feel problems you can reinstall the proxy software and try your internet again sometimes if you uninstall the proxy software then also your internet will not work that is due to your uninstallation is not complete you can see after you finish your uninstallation of your proxy you have to check this network properties for the LAN or wireless which you are connecting right click and go to pop properties you can see here a hotspot shield driver something like that you have to uncheck that and press ok or you have to uninstall if you are willing to uninstall you can select and uninstall that proxy software driver hotspot shield HSS or something like that be careful if you uninstall or uncheck any other items here your internet may be become more complicated and maybe you have to reinstall the network drivers and maybe even broken your network sharing everything so better you just uncheck the hotspot shield after that you can try it will be work one of the main thing you have to check if your internet is not working is the proxy servers you can check that in the control panel network and internet internet options and connections tab you can see the LAN settings see here this proxy servers is using some VPN connections and these numbers will make problem for your normal operation of a internet explorer so uncheck this box don't use any proxy and make sure to check this automatically detect settings click ok then ok again and then try internet it will work properly this is happening due to 
installation of any proxy software like hotspot shield or any other vpn software if it is not configured correctly your internet will not work so if you are not using if you don't like to use your proxy software just uncheck this so uncheck that proxy server and use normally firewall is one of the most important thing for the proper working of internet so you have to check your firewall for the working condition go to control panel system and security windows firewall you can select check this one is working or not this all working perfectly suppose if you have internet security or any other firewall software if it is working internet should work but if there is any problem in your firewall software your internet will not work so you have to check your windows firewall or antivirus firewall after that turn on your internet computer firewall and check your internet again it may work a main reason for internet problem is internet security firewall problem if you have any internet security software with a problem or if it is expired or if if you have any virus that damaged your firewall system you have to remove or reinstall your internet security again for that you can go to your control panel and uninstall a program you can check there is any internet security software which is expired or not working properly if you find out any software like that just uninstall and use any other internet security or antivirus software for the safety of your computer add expired antivirus or internet security software with firewall will make problem for your internet connection also so i prefer to use a working firewall software if it is windows firewall or any antivirus firewall use a working one for the best performance of your internet connection thanks for watching if you like this video please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe